Hello. I bet you thought the series was done, but the mad lad, he put another six hours into this game and brought us back to this heinous place. And, uh, you know, I unlocked some things. I uh, have a pretty rowdy crew. Um, I, I can go through it and uh, I will. We have a couple of these. These are, uh, what are these called? I don't even know what they're called. Warp points? They're warp points. I just moved someone. I don't think I want to move someone. Where were they? They were somewhere important, to be honest. I think they were over here. Yeah, they were probably over here. Um, so let's, uh, let's go through it real quick. I've leaned very heavily into poison, uh, as well as environmental damage in the form of, uh, of course, uh, you know, catapults or ballistas and, uh, you know, all, all of that manner. Almost everyone has, uh, perks that improve the damage of, uh, the defenses, except this guy, per apparently. Cur uh, Curcio, he doesn't, he doesn't have that. He has a lot of poison, though. Um, so he should, he should be, um, in the thick of it, and he's going to be in the thick of it. He's also very tanky. Um, you know, that was for the purposes of making sure he poisons as many people as possible. Florian is, um, a kind of a, a sequel character. Um, they, uh, are cross, not crossbow, yeah, hand crossbow and, uh, offhand crossbow. And they do exactly what they did before, is they basically pick off a few people, um, for our crossbow person to kill, to raise up their, uh, damage. They are going to be doing an insane amount of damage, hopefully, uh, with their isolation bonus to the boss. But um, we're going to be focusing on the boss with more than one person. This guy over here, Sarah, and th this guy, this guy, um, I have unfortunately wasn't able to get her a offhand item, which is just really, really dumb, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but they have very good isolation damage. I thought they did. I guess they don't. Why am I putting them here? Well, okay, their their main weapon is an orb, which does have isolation damage, and it does pretty good damage, and it also has poison. Um, she has some opportunism. I don't know what I'm doing here, honestly. She's just good, and she's she's gonna work well, I think, to to poison and and hurt the enemy. And we just need to have someone else here, and she's a good candidate because she does better. Um, kind of independent damage, like uh, targeting one thing rather than many things. Uh, and then we have, you know, more stuff. This person might actually be better. I could probably swap him, but I need someone to defend this area well. And uh, he's he's a pretty good candidate. He uh, has poison. He uh, has a dagger. He poison daggers. And uh, he's got pretty good isolation. He really should be. We should swap them, shouldn't we? We could sh we could swap them. We'll have Sarah over here. Sarah is not going to do a good, as good a job. I promise you that. But um, Jan over here will be able to poison. He's got better uh, opportunism and isolation. Um, so he's got a better uh, a way of doing this. And also, I mean, Karen has some opportunism. So the thing, the, the boss being poisoned will be good for business. Um, does this person have the perk? Yeah, they do have the Fortress Master. That's probably why I put them over there, but does she have? Yeah, she has it too, so never mind. Um, and, uh, the last one over here is Alicia. Alessia, I don't know. Um, she's just good. She's, she's got some pretty good stuff. Although she works better with someone, so this is gonna kind of suck for her, because she, she really needs someone else to, to pair with. Um, so... It, you know that that is unfortunate and i already messed up our town I, I won't i won't lie this isn't gonna go well i i don't think because the problem is is i built the catapults i, I made a stupid mistake and this game is so unforgiving with your mistakes like it, it just basically like you can't undo anything in this game but i built uh i built the ballistas near the edge of the city and so you can't build a wall you just can't build a wall and if you want to undo this you means destroying your ballistas and rebuilding them and therefore wasting a lot of materials uh i realized this too late and so i just kind of very much leaned into a good defense is a good offense and built 
an insane number of traps instead of building walls. Um, I, I really don't know how this is going to go, but we'll see. And I'm going to do a lot more to focus on killing the boss and the tail. Apparently we have to kill both the head and the tail um, as quickly as possible. And we'll see how that goes. I really don't want to do this again. Um, I might have to, I might have to put a little, uh, footnote here and just say, if I fail this time, I, I think I'm done with the last spell. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep like on, in my off time playing Lakeburg and then recording my attempt at the boss. Cause I do enjoy this game. I just really don't think the roguelike, you know, thing does any favors at all. I really don't think it benefits this game at all. They could have had replayability, like all of the meta progression and unlocking stuff, it could have been put towards replayability without, you know, sacrificing anything. Um, I, I don't know. I, anyway, a lot of people have been saying this and I, I feel bad saying it as well, because it's just like, it feels like I'm kind of dogging on this game a little bit, but I, I, I enjoy it. And I just think that it's let down um, a little bit but anyway let's uh let's see how we do they're coming we are a little bit too close for comfort there's a good chance we are gonna lose a bunch of stuff I thought only dead fishes slept. So they already did a bunch of damage to our defenses. Those traps are, are going to do a good job, I think. We already have a big lad over there. That's some pretty good damage on those, uh, on the tail there. I put those, uh, I mean, I figured they weren't going to last long, but I put those, um, barriers up there just to delay them enough so that they would group up around the traps. Okay, I, I think I'm good. All right, um, first thing I want to do is take care of the boss situation. So, um, I would love to raise our damage. The game's a bit loud right now. I would love to raise our dam damage, but I honestly don't think it's going to, you know, benefit us to do so. It's, I don't know. It, it's, we, we can, we have plenty of time to raise our damage later, I think. So I'm going to just buff our isolation damage and then hit them with a couple of these here heavy bolts. And then a bunch of regular bolts. Ooh, that was a crit. And I'm going to go ahead and hit us with a potion of energy. It's not going to do much, but it will, it'll help. If I could kill them in one round, that would be ideal. Um, actually, why don't we go ahead and focus? Oh, I should have poisoned them first, shouldn't I have? God damn it. Okay, well, we have an assassination scroll. We can use this four times per night. Why don't we go ahead and use that? Yeah, it really didn't do all that much, so I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, we're going to go, like, right up to it. How much? We have enough movement to back away. Um, let's just go ahead and hit, hit it with a bunch of poison. Uh, yeah, I really should have done this stuff first. All right, and we can we can do the, the death blow. Ah. Okay, that, that hurt them, but not not too much. Um, we are not close enough to hit the other thing with the bee sting scroll, but that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, killing the head in the first round. Um, so why don't we just focus on killing some bad guys next? I'm kind of glad there's no uh, like big bad over here. Because I can, uh, I can just leave Curcio over here and uh, generate a bunch of poison. And we can also slow these guys down a little bit. I could do more. Um, 
I could have probably walked right in there actually and, and like hit them real hard, but uh, you know, it's fine. I kind of want to focus on these boomers really are just like the worst. So I might have to dedicate a couple of catapults. The catapults really don't do as much as you would hope that they do. Um, but I might have to dedicate a couple of those for the sake of killing. All right, so we only need four or three of those, but that's okay. I don't mind uh, wasting one. Oh, wow. Just, yeah, one infect is enough to kill an egg, which is really nice. This guy's got good, like, individual uh, striking power. I really wish I'd given him plague, but I don't think he has plague. Yeah, <clears throat> he didn't even have it as an option, so it is what it is. Uh, can we get rid of that? Nice. Um, I actually think I'd be better off moving over here and then trying to hit some of these guys over here. Uh, that was probably bad, huh? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, all right, now over here, we're, we're, we're doing all right over here. I think that uh, things are going just fine. Um, we went with a sledgehammer again. It, uh, it turned out to be a good idea for a number of reasons. Um, she's got a perk. She's got a few perks. I wanted to try some new things, uh, but she's got a really cool perk that basically distributes damage if you do overkill. So like if I kill a guy, you'll know, you might've noticed, like, I know it was an area of effect, but generally speaking, that blue um, bar doesn't do very much if any damage so the fact that some of the damage was spilled over to the other guy was uh was pretty good um and we can do a follow-up actually we can't do a follow-up because i've i have now run out of movement we'll just leave her there for now now we got some really unfortunate baddies over here which i'm not super keen on um our friend florian here is a master of uh the plague and poison and they, um, you know, like, I, I went hard on, on poison this game. Big surprise. I like poison. But when they um, distribute poison, they also distribute uh, contagion. So they're good at uh, spreading, spreading the bad, the big bad. And also they do really good poison damage. So it tends to be that when they poison something, it's, like, immediately um, fully, fully, like, their their full their whole health bar is is gone to the plague um all right we're gonna focus one of these on big bad over there we're not gonna do very much damage but you know uh i would like to uh there's there's time enough for some of this stuff alicia you still have stuff to do but you're out of moves so that's fine all right i'm a little bit worried about this tail Okay. I mean that's okay. I, I can I can live with that. Nice. Those traps are, are they're really good. You know, they, they do a great job of um weakening the crowd. I'm a little bit worried about that boomer. Honestly, rather than uh more worried about about it killing or destroying some of our defenses, I'm worried about it hurting Alicia down there. She took a little bit of damage. This guy over here actually gains damage from taking damage, which is kind of cool. Oh, did I miss one? I didn't realize I missed one. Okay, um, we need to spread our, our, our poison. If I could... Hmm. Let's uh, let's focus on the tail first, and we're gonna we're gonna do this the right way this time. Um, unfortunately, this guy his range is bad. Um, there we go. And what do you mean requires line of sight? Oh, I see. The front of the tail was blocking the rear of the tail. Okay, so that's that was really good. I should have done that in the last round. I probably would have been able to hurt more things. Um, but the good news is she's got a little bit more. Oh, the, she can't reach anything. Let's go ahead and use run. 
Um, and she'll be able to make it a little bit closer and kill a few other things like, uh, like this lad here just to improve her damage. Can she move up anymore? Sort of. I, I don't know if it would be worth it. Because the thing is, I'm going to have to dedicate a bit of damage um, over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that guy. We should also spread our contagion as much as possible. It raises, raises our opportunism. And we're going to... I want to kill these two lads. To spread the poison, but also to split this uh, him up. And now that I think about it... It would actually be worth using another move. Oh, would it really? No, it wouldn't. God, I hate that. Okay, well, it's fine. We have opportunism, so let's just make the most of it. He does some pretty good damage. When when the, when the thing in question is, is hurt or poisoned, then he actually does some really decent damage. So let's let's go ahead and do it. We'll hit it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really good. That's actually like really decent. That thing is dead now. We don't have to worry about anything else. Okay, that actually went pretty well. Um, we don't have to worry about anything else over there. Now this boomer over here, I'm a little bit worried about. Luckily, she's got a little bit of uh, range to her. So I should be able to, you know, keep away from it. Do we have anything that can add an effect? Yeah, this uh, Mega Stomp would actually reduce their damage, which I'm, I think counts towards... Uh, I'm just... Uh, I guess we could try stunning it. It's got 50% stun resistance. Oh, wow, that actually does a lot of damage on him. Perfect. Nice. Okay, um, she's actually really effective against the boomers. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't build on this and take this guy out. Yeah, that's not bad. There we go. She gained some max health from killing things, which is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and use her movement potion to get back over there a little bit. To, uh, to you know, I, 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 better to use stuff up than to to die with it. You know what I mean? Something I learned from Cud. Uh, there's a boomer over there. I would definitely like to kill him. I swear to God, if that post is in the way, I swear to God, I swear to God, I hate that freaking lamp post so much. You know what? Um, why don't we move like here? Do we have any movement left? Not really. It could be bad. Um, why don't we move back? I, I want to move here. And unfortunately, this Lancer guy is right in the way, but I want to use my here death ray. I got a death ray, you see. Let's use my death ray. Not bad. Hit them with some poison. Um, hit them all with some poison. Uh, I don't know. This this isn't going to do very much damage because he's not isolated. And now he's stuck over there. So I may have uh, killed that lad. Who knows? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do some bee stings. We got... We have a, a big... Oh. I just accidentally smacked my cat in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. He didn't, he didn't deserve that. He's like, what? He's like half asleep. All right. Uh, we're going to slow him down. Let's go ahead and do another one of those beast things. I'm hoping it goes right. It did go right. You can't really control how that moves, but that went well. And I actually kind of think one of... Mm, nah, we, we have better opportunities for that. I think we should start maybe throwing some catapults out here. Uh, We can't hit the one target that matters, so maybe not. Well, we can do some catapults to these lads i just think that we can reserve the catapults for when it really matters and i know i just said don't die with it you know what i mean like but uh 
I, 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 you know, I think we can hold out a little bit longer before we use any of that stuff. Um, all right, well, let's just, let's just go. Things are going better. Be on guard. Yeah, I know. We have two more phases of this stupid serpent jerk. Catapults or ballistas are doing good work. We got to kill that lad this turn. I was really hoping it would kill the boomer. Not bad. Eh, that's fine. That's not fine. Oh my god. They are almost dead. That's the problem with lancers is they uh, they really just shred armor. Where's our boss? <laughs> so, I, I mean, like, come on. Don't don't make me wait for the boss. That's just like really rude. I I don't I don't like that. <laughs> I'm already I'm already really cheesed off at this whole situation. Like it just feels like too much. Too much stuff. And it's not not like not in a fun way, you know, like sometimes stress is fun It's just like it just makes me feel annoyed like I I, I really don't want to have to do this again Kind of way, you know what I mean now? What are we gonna do here? I I think I think this guy is dead. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. I think he's dead I don't think there's anything I can do for him. Oh, wait a minute. We've got we've got healing potions. Let's use those There we go he, he, he's still alive Let's just back him up a bit Hopefully, uh Yeah, okay, the boomer can't reach him. That's the important part Unfortunately, none of my catapults can reach this Chunk of monsters over here, which would be ideal Um, we definitely want to take out this lad here I, it's nice that I finally have a uh, You know a character that can actually take those guys out Really really cool. It only took me. I don't know how many attempts to, to make a character that actually had some stopping power Now this guy here, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about I would like to poison him What we could do is we, we could poison this lad here and then I'm just gonna like kill him oh that's fine yeah we, we took that guy out pretty handily I'm, I'm pretty proud of that uh, and we still have a poison left let's go ahead and um, poison this guy here are we out of actions we still have one free action there we go. Poison him. Spread our contagion as far as we can. And don't forget to use your actual contagions because it raises uh, your opportunism. Okay. Um, K-Ron is going to be able to raise... Oh, I didn't really do anything for them in terms of, like, giving them things to kill. Still, I think we have a couple of targets. I could really overextend myself a little bit here. And uh, kill a couple of lads. And then we'll... Well, I don't know. We can reach that lad. It's not worth doing this. Um, Alright, let's, let's do it. Because we'll have three actions left. So we can kill this lad. That'll re remove six. Oh, it didn't kill him. We needed to kill him at the very least. Okay, never mind. Ugh. Okay, well we have plus 18 damage. It's it's not it's not too bad. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, use our run skill, run back over here. I'm hoping that nothing pops up here, like the boss, for instance, which is exactly what's going to happen. By the way, if you didn't if you didn't hear the the Schadenfreude gears turning, you know. Um, all right. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is honestly this guy here. I think everything else is pretty okay right now. This uh, stuff over here is kind of moving over, but we have a few catapults to, to do some work on that. 
Um, yeah. Nice. That poison's doing some good stuff. We have our boss. Fortunately, they uh, didn't hurt any of the people over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to poison them both first. Uh, right, they're going to spawn some more things. Uh, that's a that's a pretty bad trouble spot actually it's okay we're actually going to start seeing some more ballista action the ballistas have been really just kind of cleaning up some of the, the the people who can like sprint over the ballistas are going to be doing a lot more work now nice nice ah yeah got got rid of the boomer that's really good I'm worried about this guy here but if we take him out they'll be able to do quite a lot of work oh, look at all this garbage my god that is just an unreasonable amount of stuff to kill okay we're good i'm i i i'm just like tired <laughs> uh i i have i'm i'm kind of worried i'm not gonna be able to reach our boss here yeah i can't I can use the bee sting scroll though, so I will do that. We'll do that. This guy's got 96 mana, so there's really no reason not to. And then I'm going to go ahead and just hit this thing with as much poison as I can. And um, he doesn't actually have any movement left. I, I should have got... Wait, can we hit it there? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's that's good. This backstab does pretty good damage, and it has the isolation effect. So we should do that if, if possible. Also, this shred is a free attack, so let's go ahead and use that first. Uh, that was kind of feeble, actually. This um, assassinate scroll, we can go ahead and use that. I kind of just want to hit the tail with this guy. Dodge 1.5. Yeah, this thing also... Oh, I see. We, we can't use that, like, close up. Okay, well, we hit it, and we did some nice damage. Um, that's, like, a free attack. And now we can start doing some backstabs. Nice. Nice. Almost killed it. Not bad. Not bad. Um, do we still have... We don't have our track ability up, so we'll go ahead and use that. Don't worry, I'm going to use our potion of energy if I run out of stuff here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. There we go. That's that's what you like to see. You like to see exactly that. Why don't we have line of sight? Right. I always forget this part. So we actually killed the boss and now we have three action points left. Blood, blood, blood. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so let's kill some lads over here that we can reach at increasing our damage and also our action points. Oh, what is this? Is this is this feeling hope? Am I feeling hope? My god. Say it ain't so. Um, let's go ahead and hit this guy in the center here. And that way we can spread the poison more easily. Actually, let's probably should spread the poison first before we like start hitting stuff, because that way we increase our opportunism more. Uh, that was a slight waste, but that's fine. And then we can we can kill this boomer. We can actually shut down the boomers pretty well right now. I'm I'm very proud about that. Nice. Um. All right. We're good there. Uh. Does anyone have action? Yeah, we have action points over here, sort of. No, not no. We're okay. We're okay. Um, I'm a little bit worried about this side. Um, I, I will say this is this is not looking healthy. Um, yeah, like there's just an ungodly amount of stuff here. And they're going to start hitting like really hard. Uh, I kind of this thing is this guy poisoned. Yeah, he is so uh, this will actually do really good I think it's only isolation. So maybe not uh, It sucks that that took two hits But it's fine 
And what I want to do, we have three action points left, is I want to poison this lad <clears throat> and hurt him. And then I want to kill him, but it's not going to, is it? Nope. And we're going to use our health potion as much as possible. Um, I think it's actually worth using some more catapult. Because that, that, uh, that boomer can do a lot of damage. They, everything else can as well, but... He's really close, and that's actually not going to do it. How close can they get right now? Close enough. Uh, might be worth actually using an entangle over here. I know that's kind of weird because this guy has like an insane amount of stuff. I don't know. Let's let's just uh, worry about one thing at a time, maybe. Um. All right. Let's. Can we? I, I really want to reach that big guy. He is connected to everything else, so there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and the the poison damage this guy unleashes is just so nice. And um, we'll untang. Well, yeah, well, let's use an entangle on this guy. I think it's actually worth using. This guy can't make it. This guy is kind of a problem. I can move over and maybe poison him with just our passive poison. Um. But yeah. Now. I'm wondering if it's actually worth using a couple of these just to kill the eggs. It's not going to. That, that armor just like doesn't do enough. Or that the catapult doesn't do enough. So um, we're, we're going to have, unfortunately, some, some egg lads. We do have some extra movement. So I could... We could, we could make something happen. We've got some lancers. I'm wondering... We could like just hit one of these guys uh yeah this is this is gonna be rough okay we can kill him maybe yeah and actually we have two action points left we can move over and then we should be able to kill this thing oh just barely not oh we could punch it yes oh that poisoned her uh, and unfortunately, she has no po uh, remedies for that. So let's um, use another movement potion and then get back over. So this guy is going to be alive, and I can't really do much about that. At least he's going to be taking some damage, but only for three turns. So uh, she's going to take 45 damage. It's not great, but... Um, there is actually a couple of rewards for killing monsters by punching them. So we just have one more wave of boss. But that means we're going to have to survive, I think, one more wave of just monsters. Yep, that's good. That is okay. Would like to see a little bit more, uh... Honestly, this over here just feels like uh, uh, too much. Oh, come on. Don't poison my lad. He's already having an, a rough time as it is. And there's there's the uh, wormling. We did. They did. Um, my poison lad did spread some poison to the Lancer, which is nice. So we got we got that going for me, you know. Does this guy he does have armor? Oh man. Uh, I'm still worried about the boomers. The this poison is doing some good work. I would like to continue spreading poison to these fat lads over here, the bulkies. But I'll take that. That's actually not bad. This um this guy's gonna poison explode kill a bunch of guys over here. Um. Still, I'd like to do as much poison damage over there as I can. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Hitting that boomer over there is, is really decent. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... I am a little bit worried about this guy here. He can get pretty close, I won't lie. 
these guys can get semi close the thing i'm worried about for from that their perspective is they can um if they get close enough to this guy they can stun him so i'm really not excited for that uh, let's go ahead and use a health potion just to get rid of our own poison effect um and i think we're gonna start using these i'll use them over here that that way we can hit that boomer over there we can hit the the bulkies just do a little bit of damage the catapults are really not great for like hitting anything with any kind of like damage sponginess they they suck they suck for that so much um they're good for basically killing the mooks which is kind of worthless because like i can already kill the mooks fine can we kill uh actually that guy is on his own we should be able to do some pretty good damage to them not bad could could be better do we have opportunism i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll just hit him with the poison Ugh. okay that's that's not as good as i was hoping and and he can reach him so let's Let's just like back up a little bit. Uh, this boomer here is potentially going to do some damage. But that's fine. I mean, we can't make it out of this unscathed. There's no way, you know, so I, I don't mind if we take some damage. I just want to survive. You might have noticed I did try a new method here. I put an since I couldn't put walls on the outside, I figured, well, we'll sp I'll spend some less, you know, less money, and I'll put some walls around the spell, and offer it a bit of extra protection. The, also, the spell came with an extra mage. I didn't buy them; it, they just kind of came, you know, batteries included this time, I guess. Um, kill this lad. There we go. Kill this lad and i want to take a health potion that, or a move potion that was our last move potion so that's it for movement um i what i'd like to do is set up a, a few kills for our our uh K-Ron over here so let's see how far do we okay we only need to go over like four and we can reach quite a lot over here it wouldn't be a bad idea to get them to kill this um boomer but I guess in the, the problem there is then we have to do quite a lot to, to kind of finagle that situation. So it might be better to just like leave it. I don't know. We'll see. Nice. That was pretty good. Now we just need to kill this frog and then we'll be okay. Oh. Okay, to let's just like put one more yeah dedicate one to them uh you know we wasted a little bit but that's fine uh let's throw some contagion down here contagion on its own by the way does actually offer some damage um because i think it counts towards uh opportunism so uh, in case you're wondering why i do that and now we can uh buff our our damage here pretty good I am a little bit concerned I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. Yeah, that was that was uh, predetermined. We'll take a movement, and I, I would love to just kill this one guy. It's probably not worth it. There we go. And I'll use another action point to run back over. We should be able to get them back uh, to, to kill the boss when they arrive. Um, so now Jan over here. Jan could actually do some stuff. Jan's got pretty good movement. And could... Oh, he's got terrible range, though. I forgot about that. Uh, you know what he's got, though? He's got a bee sting. So that's not bad. I mean, it's really awful, but, you know, it's not bad. Can't really afford to spend anything else. Least of all, movement. And actually, now he's in the range of... Dam uh, you know danger so we'll use a brace and we'll call it a day over there that's not good here comes the boss third third phase I, I haven't even seen this yet 
Nice. I actually did a good thing moving away. Come, it's come back. Chop its head off quickly. A lot of our lads have uh, the ballista perk that let them do some passive damage um, after the enemy has moved. I, I don't think it does a lot, but it's nice. It's just like an extra ballista on the field. Ballista's doing some good work over there. A little bit of worry, worried about that boomer, but I'm pretty sure they can't actually do anything. Ah, now that sucks. That's the worst part about those guys. Yeah, we're taking damage on the wall now. I, I don't think any of this matters though because I'm pretty sure I can hit that I can kill that boss um, on the first turn We'll see we'll we'll have to see let's um, Do I have any range problems here? No, I can just go walk right up to it and then we're gonna hit it with all of our poison damage Oh 12,000 health. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, right. We did want to use our assassinate scroll. That's fine. Um, so we can't use our assassinate scroll. That kind of sucks. I should have been a bit more careful about that. But uh, luckily, our crossbow person here, I, I think they're just going to absolutely shred this thing. Um gonna use our track oh do we still have track yeah we're not gonna waste an action point we just did 2000 well okay 1700 that was both of our heavy bolts so we might not actually kill it this round but i think we might we're doing some really nice damage to it um let's use an action point and i'm gonna just keep hitting it Ah, uh, yes. Yes, bud. Absolutely get the heck out of here. That's Lake Berg done. We killed it. Oh, well. Tourism wasn't in full swing anyway. Yes, it was. We still had a lot of visitors by night, at least. <laughs> but in any case, I won't miss them. I like how it completely destroyed my wall. <laughs> Sun dawns on the reddened waters of Lake Berg. Twisted corpses and oozing scales color the ruined uh, states. What scales? What? But today, a beacon of light clears the violent, ma violet mass, the haven bathes in reassuring radiance. The seal is destroyed. The remnants of civilization can fight with renewed hope. The last spell is one step closer. Oh, God. Nice. That was a pretty f fireworks finale by the lake, sort of. I wish it was actually a finale. There's, there are other seals left. We can't do much more. Yes, you can. Time to clean up that huge disgusting mess in what's left of the town, mage. Victory! Oh, that feels good, bud. Heck yeah. That was only 12 hours in order to beat this one town. I, uh, I really wish I could have done it on that first. Well, I this is my third attempt actually I wish I could have done it on my second attempt The second attempt that would have um, really kept up my morale through for the series I won't lie, but that will um, that will mean that we continue um, I do uh, I, I mean Having attempting that three times means we did grind up a lot of extra boons So maybe I won't have to try three times in the next town, 
but uh, uh something tells me that that is not the case and we will probably fail on our first attempt at the very least in the next town i'm almost like expecting it rejoice oh earth and sea for i have come with gifts in hand okay all right i broke another seal thou that thou did mine fierce warrior and thou vanquishest the the, 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 the worm i know not if, if it is for the best or for the worst what does that mean the delicate balance of occult powers has already been strongly disturbed i wonder what unpredictable effect thy feats might have and yet thy quest shall carry on as more of our kin will soon perish here or in another echo if thou stayest idle not all corrupt bonds between elemental orbs and this one have been severed yet far from it receive my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments glenwald so it has come to your attention that another haven is also trying their best to break their seal looks like glenwald will, will do with your help all right glenwald then Ooh, heroes have plus one action points my goodness that's quite the boon heroes have better traits overall recruit recruit 15 heroes at the end uh one more one more would have done it okay heck yeah bud and uh do we have any new goodies from our dark lord and the 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 lizard lady welcome to the oraculum commander yes yes are you satisfied now am i you are an intriguing one my dear little lamb unleashing even more destruction upon an already destroyed world revealing legends only to cut them in uh, to shreds all in the name of altruism revenge redemption mere survival or could it be pleasure perhaps we have more in common than you dare to believe don't we such a taste for blood Will you sell your tainted essence? New ability, seer structure. Guess again. It's an interesting idea. I kind of like it. Um, it costs one worker, though. I'm not sure if I like that part. Item re re reward. Re re item re reward. Reroll. Good lord. Items have a greater chance to be uncommon. I like that. Uh, oh, attributes have a greater chance to be rare during hero level up. That just seems like a very good thing to have. And hey, we can also afford more uncommon items. Let's just take that. I could definitely do with some more omens. I kind of don't like the idea of it, if I'm being honest, because I like what I've got right now. But maybe I'll have more slots. All heroes have plus one action points. Also, some of these omens cost a lot of points, and so you can have less omens if you take them. Having plus one action points per round is really nice, I won't lie. Um extra mana extra damage all heroes have plenty plus 20 percent opportunism poison seems to be something i'm kind of gravitating towards so this might actually be a really good one for me all heroes have plus 25 percent isolation this is also something i tend to gravitate towards because uh having one hero that can absolutely just demolish the boss is a really good idea i think especially when you have to dedicate heroes to defending the walls uh all heroes have 12% accuracy, plus 8 block, resistance, dodge, reliability. Attributes have a, a greater chance to be uncommon and rare during hero level up. That's kind of neat. All heroes have plus 1 perk point. That's kind of cool. Um, the haven starts with 30 gold. I hate these kind of ones. This is like worthless. I, I guess it's not worthless, but that's not even enough to upgrade one of the houses. So it's not worth like this isn't as, as good as even like one extra worker in the first round. If it was plus 40 gold, I would say, you know what? That's actually not bad. As it is, I guess this is enough to buy a um, an, uh, like a gold mine in the, like the first round. So, yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, I do think it's a like a little bit of an un like it's it's deliberate obfuscation in a way because it's like hey you get 30 gold what are you gonna do with that 30 gold you're gonna buy a mine shaft just give me a mine shaft just like start start my town with a mine shaft that'd be kind of nice maybe that's what they expect you to do with the money all right 
Um, they didn't really make any hint at the fact that, like, I, I don't know how many towns are left. I have to assume that Glenwald is not it, not the end. Uh, we, are, we do have 10 minutes, so we could start this. Um, we have seven omens. I think it would be better to start in the next episode, actually. Just to, just to kind of clean, break things up. Um, so, hey, uh, you know, can I hear it in chat or in the comments for me not giving up and playing an extra, like, six hours of the game and grinding up uh, enough to try that boss again? I, I, I'd appreciate your support. Definitely hit the like button and, and uh, maybe throw a comment in there. Just, uh, you know, um, bones and sacrifice, sacrificial lambs for the algorithm would actually do me a huge solid. Um, but uh, in any case, I hope you are enjoying the series and that the likes are genuine. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.